Blues and welcome back to another Blues Blind Box Viewer's Choice Edition. As always, I posted a pic of my blind boxes on Instagram and you guys have spoken. So let's see what you guys want me to open up today. So one of the blind boxes you guys wanted me to open up isn't actually a blind box at all, but it is one of the gachapons. Then, as always, you guys pick something from Love Live, and I've got to say, I think this is my last Love Live blind box for the moment, but we will open it up, see who we get, and um, I'll have to pick up some more because I know you guys really love the Love Live blind boxes. Then we had some people ask for Pokemon. And one person more specifically asked for the one with Q on it. We will be opening up this one. Then we will move on to some of the remints because a lot of you guys have requested those. And another one with a lot of votes was Kirby. So we will be opening up this Kirby remint set right here. Then we had someone request one for the little Sumiko Garashi remint set and I think a couple other people as well also wanted to see some Sumiko Garashi so we will open up this one. Then we had a couple people request this Rilakkuma remint set right here and that pretty much almost cleans me up out of all of my remints as well. And then for the last one today I think I'm going to open up a Tsum Tsum one. I didn't see a request for it this time, but we've had requests in the past, and honestly, I have a ton of Tsum Tsum blind bags left over, so I want to start opening some of these. So this will be the last one that we will open today. One last look at all of these pretty boxes that we will be opening up today. Lots of cute items. I'm so excited. Can't wait to start. And so first off, we have this little gachapon that I indeed picked up in Japan. It is in one of our vlog videos, I believe, of us in Akihabara because there was this shop just full of gachapon. Just that, that's all they had, which was pretty cool. But this one is from the series Mother because I can kind of see through it here, which I thought was just so cool that they still had Mother things out. And of course, it just has loads of tape. Okay, here we go. So here's just the little booklet that came with it. So these are all of the characters that you could have received. And I got this little character right here. I honestly don't know who he is. I think it might be from the original series. Let me know in the comments down below but he is still a super cute little charm figure. He's very detailed. He's got his cute little glasses. And then it looked like they all came with this little like charm here that just says mother. So that's pretty cool. So now let's open up this Tsum Tsum package. And what's really kind of cool about this one is that they are fuzzy. And uh, honestly, I can't remember if I've opened these for you guys before or not but I would love to have Eeyore, or Lucky, or Lady, or the Peapod, that looks super cute, but a lot of really fun characters. So let's get this open. Let's see who we got. Ooh, wait, is this supposed to be Simba or Mufasa? According to the package, it is Mufasa. So how cute is that? I love how soft and fuzzy he is. It's still like that rubber, like plastic combination, whatever <laughs> original Tsum Tsums are made out of, but they do have this coat of fur, which makes them fuzzy, obviously. So that's super cute. Let's keep going. So next up, let's open up this Love Live blind box. And you guys have definitely seen this one before. I don't think I've gotten caught on just yet, but you guys all know that's who I'm going for. So without further ado, let's open up this box, maybe. Uh, here we go. Come on, come on. Come on, back of the box. Ooh, I see ponytail, you guys. I see ponytail. Ready? Yes! All right, another charm for my Ita bag. Ah, I can't believe it. So yeah. 
This is Kanon, obviously, who I was hoping for my best girl. Let me know in the comments down below who your best girl is. But now moving right along, let's check out this next blind box, which I did pick up from the Pokemon Center at Sunshine City in Japan, and I think this one is super, super cute. I love Mimikyu as a character, and these charms just look beautiful. Like charms, pins, not quite sure what they are yet, but we'll find out soon. My top pick is definitely the Mimikyu kind of longing after Pikachu in the background there, but let's see which one we get. Here we go. <gasps> which one is this? <laughs> At first I thought it was like the one with Pikachu in the background because it has that sort of tree branch that looms over, but this is so cute. I love the colors, the nice contrast between the yellow Mimikyu and then the purple branches and flowers in the background. And as you guys saw the back already, it just has a little chain. So it is a keychain and not a pin. So those were all the charm and minifigure blind boxes we had to open today. So now let's get into the remints. These are some of my favorite. And we'll start off with the Rilakkuma Beach House one. It just has a fun summery vibe. But uh, let's see what our choices are here. Oh, this Rilakkuma building a sand castle is cute. And then we also have these, oh my gosh. This is the one I think I want the most, with a Rilakkuma kind of just chilling on a towel with a little Rilakkuma fan. That's what it looks like, at least to me. And then we've got some of these other ones. The Krill one is cute, the little surfboard. So a lot of really cute ones in here. So without further ado, let's get this open. It looks like I got the little grill set with the little bird character. But here we have all of the little pieces, and then of course we have the little bird, which is so cute. Let's put this together, shall we? So once again, here is the grill piece, and it's got this really cute Rilakkuma logo and picture on the front. And then we have the top of the grill that just kind of fits in, and it does kind of lock in with these little nubs. But it definitely isn't like secured or anything, it just kind of rests on top. And then we have the little tongs, which actually kind of work. I wouldn't use them too much because it is just made out of plastic and I feel like they could bend and snap if you're not really careful. But on the top too we have a little Rilakkuma face, which is super cute. Then we have the Rilakkuma shaped shell, looks like kind of like a clam shell, maybe this is a clam dish. But then we have the little squid as well, and I think it's really cute on this other side here. We have a little Rilakkuma shaped like grill mark, or where the squid has split from being grilled. Our little bird friend, of course, and he's really cute, really tiny, like he's definitely not the one serving us because he's smaller than the tongs. And uh, he's also got a little straw hat and a fan as well, which just adds to the adorableness of this little figure. So here it is all set up. Very cute. Think this would be perfect for like a Nendroid beach scene. Get some of that kinetic sand and the little swimsuit outfits and I think it would be adorable. But moving on, let's go to the Sumiko Garashi Remint set, and this one is a cute little gardening set, and it just kind of reminds me of spring, so I feel like we're going backwards in the seasons here. But here we have all of the choices. This one is super cute with the lizard and the little like watering hole, and we have some more here. So I think my top pick is the little lizard character with the little watering hose. I think that's super cute, plus like the lizard is just one of my favorite characters. So let's see. Oh, I can find the booklet. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, it's the little cat. So I got the little herb garden one. Let's take a look. Let's see all of the little pieces. So the first piece that comes with it 
is the little gardening box with this lattice detailing here, which is so cute. It's got the little characters engraved on the front. And then we just have some dirt here that goes inside, and you can see this is where we would stick our little plants. So, and then here are our little plants, and I'm not quite sure what kind of herbs they are supposed to be, but this one is so cute. It has the little sun hat and a cute little face. So adorable. And then it looks like our little watering can is the penguin character, and it kind of has this translucent feel to it. And then here is our Neko character. And so it's got a little bandana and another little scarf here. Looks like they are ready for gardening. So really cute. So here's what this one looks like all set up. Another great accessory for just display or again, your Nendroids if you want. And we are now finally down to our last blind box of this video. And this is Kirby's Happy Room. And I love these little room sets because I just love all the little mini furniture and stuff, sometimes more than the little food. So once again, here are all the choices that come in the box, but my favorites have to be on this side, which we have one with a fridge and like this Kirby giant plush, like pillow thing, super cute. And then we also have the little bed with the Kirby headboard, but what I really love is the little Kirby himself. He has a really nice, little like sleeping cap on. It's so cute. And once again, I believe I picked this up in Japan. There's not tape on this, is there? Because I feel like I can't punch into this one. So once again, here is the back. Did I get one of the cooking ones? I don't know. Oh, yay! I got the fridge! That's so cute. I can't wait to see all the little pieces. But look at this little room. That is so cute. So yeah, this is a really heavy set. It has two really big pieces with it. So if this is the set you're going for, go for a heavier box. But let's get them open and take a closer look, shall we? Here we have just a little yellow plate, which is okay that it doesn't really have detailing. I have had some remits in the past, you know, have little designs on it, but this one's just plain, which I said is okay. Then we have a couple little strawberries to go on the plate with our little dessert pack here because it looks like we have some Kirby pudding. So that is really cute. I love the little Kirby face on the top. It then comes in these adorable like pudding cups. So that is really cute. I love the detailing. But then we have the Kirby like, I, I think, I really think it's just a, a giant, like, beanbag cushion pillow thing shaped like Kirby. So, so cute. It has, like, really nice texture that makes it think it's, like, woven fabric or something like that. So that's really cool. Again, he's pretty hefty. And then finally we have the little Kirby fridge. I don't think the freezer compartment opens. Um, I can't seem to get it open at this moment but the bottom part does and it's really cute it has Kirby's face and then like the little handles and I like that one of the doors opens I wish both of them opened and it would have been nice to see like a little shelf in here but it is still really cute and I think it'd be great for pictures and things but here it is not too much to set up as we don't have a lot going on we've got a couple of really big pieces which I think are great and again would be really cute to display with Nendroids, all of that fun stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, and I just realized that if you put the strawberries down at the feet of the pudding like this, it kind of looks like Kirby's feet. So if you look at the plush in the back, he has the little red shoes on. So I think that is so cute. So here is everything that I opened up today. It kind of looks like I opened up a lot more than just seven boxes because of all of the little remit pieces but everything is so cute. I love it. Again, it's really hard to choose what my favorite item is. I really do like the Kanon keychain. I love collecting Love Live keychains to put on my Eda bag, so that is a really great win for me today. So let me know what you guys liked the best in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Pika Blues.